Hey, welcome to another episode of geekoutdoors.com. So in this shotcut tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a very simple scroll text, but also some additional text features as well. So once you brought your clip down to your project timeline, what you want to do is add another video track. So you simply right click on your mouse, add a video track. Now on this video track, what you're going to do is open other, and then choose color and leave this transparent and say okay so now the entire screen is black so what you want to do now is drag this down here to your brand new video track and now this color track is going to be above your original video track below it so this is where we're going to be able to add our scrolling text so if you go here to filters do search look for text HTML and we'll go ahead and add that and you see here there are some templates available so I'm going to show you these other templates later, but let me show you the simple scroll, which is what we're going to do here. So whenever you choose the simple scroll, you'll come up with this basically simple HTML editor. This is a YCWIG editor, so what you see is what you get. So if you're used to using something like Microsoft Word, LibreOffice, or any other type of tools where you could format text, this is the same thing. So if you already have some text, go ahead and put it in here. Now I have some text here that I just pasted in, and this is going to look weird. So let's go ahead and look at this right now. I'm going to go ahead and save this. So it's going to save it on this HTML file. And we'll go ahead and check this out to see how this looks like. And as you see, there is our scrolling text, but it doesn't look quite right. So what we want to do now is let's go ahead and edit this. We'll go here to edit. And as you can see here, the text is a little bit too large and it's in the color black. So with this whole HTML editor, you can definitely format this. So if you look up here, there are some formatting features. So these are very similar if you were using a word processing tool or HTML editor. And so there are some good options here. And at the same time, there's also additional formatting options here. And if you are a person who knows how to work with HTML, then you could go down here to the view source and you can edit the code right here. So there are some options here for you to adjust. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the color of this text. So if you do control A, we'll just select all your text. I'm going to go to format and I'm going to change the text color. I'll choose white. And then another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the text size. This is a little bit too large. So we'll go down here to font size. And I'm going to change this to, let's just say 28. Now the font is smaller. And you could always save this and then close it. And then you could check it out again to see how things look. So not quite there yet. Go back and hit and edit this. And you can just adjust the text here. However, as I said earlier, if you do know how to do HTML, you could do all of this in code and it'll probably be quicker that way than trying to do it this way. But I'm just gonna show you like some simple ways in which you can edit this here. And at the same time, you can also add images as well. So I don't have an image here to show you, uh, but well, let's go ahead and try one then. Let's see how that looks like. I haven't tried it. Go ahead and choose a picture somewhere. Yeah, let's go ahead and choose this uh, Star Wars Stormtrooper. Yeah, cool. <laughs> kind of goes in with the whole scrolling text, Star Wars scrolling text. So not exactly the same. So this isn't going to be perfect, but I'm going to show you like quickly how you can just add text, you know, just edit this here using the HTML tool. And uh, just in general, I don't think this is the best tool for you to edit things, uh, but maybe in future updates, it'll make it easier. So let's go ahead and save this. So let's see how this looks like. There it is. A little bit better. There's our image. And if you notice, if it's scrolling really fast, it has a lot to do with the length of the clip that it has here. If you want to make it slower, you can extend it. And there's probably some other things that you could do as well to slow this down, but this is just doing it through the actual filter itself. So there is the scrolling text with an image. Cool. So that is a very quick an easy way to use the simple scroll text feature. But there are some other features here in the text HTML tool. So let me show you some of those. And I think some of these uh, are gonna be very useful if you wanna do something quick. 
Now, if you don't want a scrolling text, you could simply just do HTML by using blank HTML. For all your email management needs, check out AWeber, the preferred choice news at geekoutdoors.com. Sign up today and get a 30-day free trial. For more information, check out the affiliate link in the description area below. And very similar to what you did before, if you go to edit, you can edit HTML right here directly. So you could just add some words, save that, and then it'll show up right there. So we'll go ahead and remove that. Let's go ahead and look at the other stuff that's available. We have a blue bar in the middle. Add your titles. And I don't think you can adjust this graphically, but you might want to play around with that if you wanted to. So we're going to close that without saving. What else do we have here? We also have a Creative Commons. Say, for example, you had some Creative Commons music on here. You can have this come up at the front and then you can just change this as you want. So if you want to get some, you know, Creative Commons music, you want some attribution, you could use this. It, most of what you need is already there. And similarly, there is another Creative Commons right here. I don't really know what the difference is besides maybe the fonts a little different. And let's see what else we have here. Blank with animations. So I'm not really sure how this works. I haven't really used this one myself, but there probably is some additional animation you can do. Let's go ahead and try this out. I don't know if it really makes a difference. So I'm not sure how this works. I might have to go into this a little bit further because I don't see any animation here. So let's see. We have the simple scroll, which it did, and then the two columns. So here you have columns in two text. So column one and column two. Let's go ahead and see how this looks like. Okay, so there it is. It doesn't look exactly uh, as I would hope, but it's there. So as you can see here, it's fairly simple for you to do a simple scroll using the text HTML. And there's other things you could do. I think this is really beneficial if you know HTML. You know, it just allows you to do much more than what's available here by default on the tool. But that is it on this particular tutorial. If you actually had any thoughts on this or any of the other ways in which you do a simple scroll tech or any other text effects, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you did want to see more of my shotcut tutorials, I do have a playlist. I'll leave that in the description as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to additional videos and content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side.